So Notion have a few new features out and we're going to talk about what they are, how they work and what it means for the future of Notion. Welcome everyone, my name is Francesco. Today's video is kindly brought to you by Vimcal. Vimcal is an AI powered calendar designed for teams and individuals that have lots of meetings. So let's dive into three features that are in Vimcal. First of those is slots and time travel. This is perfect for finding slots, sharing them with other people and with team plans as well, you get to have that booking slot organized and coordinated with the other person, which is perfect and great for being able to collaborate. The second feature that's pretty cool is natural language input, which allows you to paste something like um, Thursday at 3 p.m. at Starbucks and tagging the people you wanna go with. Natural language helps you to plan that in and create an event really easily. And finally, there's a feature called AI Time Free Time Finder, which allows you to take a screenshot of an email or maybe even copy the email with a bunch of time that somebody recommended. It'll paste it into the calendar and allow you to see the slots and pick which one you want. You can even bring in a Calendly link as well, which will save you time if you're booking via Calendly or the other person is booking via Calendly too. So that's Vimcal and you can check it out in the link in the description. So Notion have released a fair few additions and I want to talk about out a few of them, mainly the smaller features first and then riding into the much bigger features uh, and what they mean for Notion in the future. So let's start with the upgraded sharing abilities. This is something that Notion has had problems with for a long time now, but sharing has become much more synced inside of your Notion account, which means you can see where and who has access, whether that's team owners or individuals, admins or members, which is perfect for making sure you know who has access and who doesn't. This is something that is a quality of life update, but Notion continues to evolve this and improve it. Next up is the ability to connect Google Drive to tasks inside of Notion projects. This is perfect for sharing maybe approvals or designs or marketing material, but in general, great for being able to connect Google Drive with subtasks that are in your projects. Next up is task dependencies. Now this is great, for example, when you're planning using timeline view, but they've really enhanced this with a few different parameters that set around task dependencies. This is great if you're just looking to make sure you adapt it to what you and your team are working on so that it doesn't make sure it misses a beat when you've moved something about in Notion. Moving on, there's AI prompts that you can now save as favorites. If you've got the add-on for Notion AI, you can now save prompts into a favorited area, which is great if you're sharing, for example, you've got a table the AI is created routinely for you and you want to be able to bring that up at any given time without having to type it out this is a great little time saver. Notion is now 10% faster on mobile in the recently visited pages this is great for quickly jumping back in and of course it's going to work with the live widgets which allow you to jump back into the application much more smoothly. And finally, they've released the integrations gallery, which is perfect if you're looking to find an integration to connect things up with. And it's a perfect segue into one of their bigger features that they've more recently released. The more recently released feature that's pretty big is automations. And this is really touted as Notion 3.0. It's a way to take databases that step further by connecting it to things that are outside of Notion. And Notion have done a pretty good job in the last couple of years with the API, but this really takes it a lot further. Now, just to be clear, Notion plans um, actually don't all have automations in. I believe there's some limitations. I haven't quite found what those limitations are, but I will try and include them in the link in the description. But you do need a certain plan type. I assume it's probably plus or onwards, but that's just uh, in, in, in my mind. <laughs> so database automations allow you to take something in your database that you might do routinely and automate it using um, either something that changes the database in interaction or something that externally changes the database. So something that might internally change it could be a flow. For example, if you change, for example, editing to published, maybe it gets sent to somebody that's in social media management so that they can make a post on that video that you've just created. That's an example of an internal use of database. And finally, the external could be something like a Slack message that notifies somebody of a change in status. Now this isn't brand new, but the integrations gallery would really take this a lot further. And some fantastic demonstrations of how it's being used is with Slack, 
with this banking example to give you an update on whether a banking uh, process has been changed. And you can also set it up, for example, um, in, in, in this way, like being able to take advantage of it with internal use as well. Now, this is something that you can watch a full video by um, Daniel, who has a fantastic channel that digs deep into Notion. Uh, I'll link that one in the description below, but Notion have their own database automations video on this anyhow. And finally, the addition um, that a lot of people will really like is freezing the tables. You can now freeze a certain table in a um, row or column, and this will allow you to really see it omnipresently across, which is great for saving time when you're scrolling around, and um, it will give you uh, more clarity when you're managing databases uh, at scale. So that was Notion's update in today's video. Hopefully it gave you a bit of an idea of where Notion are heading. Of course, Notion are really trying to enhance stuff, and I think that the AI side of stuff will probably come into the play with database automation, uh, mainly because, for example, if you have a database, that is just whirling and you're doing things in the background and the AI works out what routine things you do, it will suggest an automation to actually just implement instead of actually you doing it yourself. So I think AI has a lot of potential with databases and how it can really move that forward. So I'm sure Notion are working on it, but it's something I think where Notion could really evolve into where working and taking the stress out of things you do routinely in databases. So thank you very much. Thanks to Vimcam for sponsoring today's feature. And folks, I will see you in the next, next video. Subscribe to keep productive and I'll see you all very soon. Cheerio.